12 Indices of Mental Illness You Should Not Ignore There are numerous ways that mental disease can manifest itself. Furthermore, whereas certain mental health illnesses can be readily identifiable, others might be more difficult to identify. Even though someone seems put together, they can be fighting to even smile or get out of bed in the morning. Alternatively, it can be a grumpy adolescent who appears to be growing more and more withdrawn every day. You should be vigilant and watch out for any of the following warning indicators if you believe that you or a loved one may be experiencing mental illness. The first is stomach pain, postal pain. Recurrent stomach pain is typically indicative of indigestion, acid reflux, or a number of other conditions. However, experiencing acute stomach pain during periods of anxiety may indicate mental health issues. It's common to describe experiencing anxiety or nervousness as having a knot in your stomach. There's also a rationale behind this. Research indicates a strong correlation between the gut and the brain. Your digestive tract slows down when you experience anxiety because your brain has to save energy for addressing the threat that is raising your stress levels. Bloating, discomfort, and stomach cramps are frequently the result of this. The second is chronic pain, permanent pain. Your body will start to feel the impacts of your mental health decrease in your stomach. But if you ignore the warning signs and choose to remain in denial, your body will eventually suffer as a whole. Research indicates that there is a strong correlation between chronic pain and depression in individuals. The brain regions responsible for processing pain and depression overlap. Consequently, emotional pain can intensify physical pain and vice versa. This explains why the majority of antidepressants have analgesic properties as well. Third, extremely low motivation. A serious deficiency in energy. Most people think of depression as just being depressed all the time, but in reality, it's a lot more complicated illness that manifests itself in a variety of ways. A notable variation in motivation is among the most prevalent symptoms. Individuals suffering from severe depression frequently lack the willpower to even get out of bed, let alone carry out daily tasks and basic self-care. They frequently inform friends and relatives that participating in these activities is pointless. Of sure, everyone experiences moments of boredom or lack of drive. But you should get expert assistance if you or someone you know is unable to perform basic everyday duties. The fourth, manic episodes. Manic studs. A form of bipolar disorder may be indicated by high energy spurts in which you feel unstoppable or lose sleep. Additionally, you might become unpredictable, easily distracted, or extremely productive. A bipolar disorder's manic episode may resemble a high. These moments can turn negative if you do things like overspend or act impulsively, which will need to be corrected when you've calmed down. Anyone who is going through manic episodes should see a doctor and find out how best to control their moods. Number five, anxiety. Analogy. It may be harder to identify this indicator in yourself. When everything seems to be against you and it's your own opinion, it can be justified to slowly spiral into crazy. This is the reason that people closest to someone suffering extreme paranoia are usually the ones who first recognize it rather than the person experiencing it themselves. You're probably suffering from paranoia if your thoughts have changed and you start to feel as though you're being watched or followed, that someone is attempting to harm you, and that you can't trust anyone, not even your own family. However, paranoia is not always associated with schizophrenia or other related conditions. It can be result from anxiety or delusional disorders. Whatever the source of your paranoia, you should be evaluated if it's beginning to cloud your judgment or make you worry for your life. Compulsions and fear-based behavior. Number six, occupations and actions driven by fear. Do you find it impossible to interact with people or travel in public areas because of a crushing fear? Maybe you intentionally design your life to accommodate your fear. Perhaps you even follow certain daily routines that only you would understand. Any one of these symptoms could be a sign that your anxiety disorder has gotten out of control and turned into a serious issue that needs to be addressed. It is not a life anyone wants to live when their anxieties and fears rule them. You won't have time to achieve your goals if you spend all of your time running away from your anxieties. Without a doubt, this needs to be taken care of in order to prevent things from getting worse. Turning things around will probably be simpler than you think. Perhaps all that's needed is a little prod in the correct direction. Seventh, severe anhedonia. A warning anhedonia. Anhedonia, which is defined as losing interest in everything, even things you used to enjoy, is a warning indication that depression may be taking hold. You should definitely be concerned if you realize that you are no longer interested in doing the things that you used to enjoy. If you had a valid explanation, it shouldn't be a huge concern because it's normal to have shifting interests from time to time. But when you abruptly stop doing anything that makes you happy, that's when it becomes a problem. Giving up on all of your passion-driven pursuits is a serious issue that should be discussed with your physician. Number eight, variations in weight. 
Wheel changes. Everybody aspires to have a flawless physique. Naturally, that is subjective, and various individuals will interpret perfection in different ways. It could entail putting on or dropping a few pounds. And while maintaining a healthy weight is important, drastic weight fluctuations are not. Severe depression or an eating disorder may be linked to excessive weight loss or increase. Stress in both behavior and surroundings can make people turn to food as a consolation, which can lead to significant weight gain. On the other hand, severe hunger loss and weight loss are symptoms of certain mental health conditions, such as depression. You ought to get evaluated for mental health issues if you are going through any of these extremes. Sleeping too much or not enough is number nine. Sleeping inadequately or too much. One of the most vital needs is sleep. Although only 10% to 18% of people can achieve the recommended quantity. Having said that, individuals with mental illnesses are more likely to experience sleep deprivation or oversleeping. Research indicates that over 50% of individuals with conditions such as bipolar illness, depression, anxiety, or ADHD also experience hypersomnia or sleeplessness. Number 10, thoughts of self-punishment. Self-punishing consciences. Self-deprecation is never healthy, and persistently thinking poorly of your skills or looks is another indicator of mental illness. It's quite easy to get into negative thought patterns and nearly impossible to get out of them. Should these bothersome ideas begin to occur more frequently, you could require expert assistance. Thoughts of self-punishment may arise from mood and anxiety problems. It's neither normal or healthy to constantly criticize yourself, and no one should have to try to live with it. Number 11, delusions, hallucinations. Drugs are by far the most common cause of hallucinations, though there are many other causes as well. However, neurological conditions such as migraines or epilepsy, blindness, and even prolonged periods of isolation can cause hallucinations. It might not be a huge concern if you've been taking a prescription drug that has this side effect. However, there is cause for concern when one experiences other auditory or tactile hallucinations or sees objects that aren't there. Whatever the cause of the hallucinations, they are an obvious indication that something is wrong with your brain. Read ahead. Therefore, even if the hallucinations aren't having a detrimental impact on you, it's still advisable to get checked out as soon as possible to rule out any underlying illnesses. Number 12, self-loathing or negative conduct. Self-loathing or destructive conduct. This is another example of a behavioral pattern that, unless someone else points it out, might not be very apparent. It is best to seek professional counseling to try and determine why you are actively engaging in self-destructive conduct that could be badly injuring you or someone else. Self-destructive conduct can take many different forms, such as undermining yourself in a love relationship, at work, or during a significant endeavor. This also applies to high-risk behaviors like using drugs or other illicit substances, as well as extreme self-isolation. It's not normal or healthy to constantly punish or undermine yourself. Therefore, you should try to stop and get help from a professional. Sadly, people don't always take mental health as seriously as they do physical health. Furthermore, despite significant progress in diagnosing mental disease, many continue to put off finding psychological solutions. They worry about being labeled as mad or having to take medicine. However, mental health issues can pose an equal threat to safety as physical ones. Most people are unaware of the potential for serious harm that might result from problems that are not addressed for a long time. Therefore, it's a good idea to locate a professional to answer your questions and assist. Manage your mental illness if you end up getting diagnosed, if you observe a loved one exhibiting any of these indicators, or if you notice them in yourself. Although managing a mental illness might sometimes feel unachievable, you can conquer your own challenges and assist your loved ones in overcoming theirs with a little knowledge and assistance. As usual, we would like to hear your thoughts. Please leave your opinions and personal stories in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching and found the information useful, please like, comment, and share. Please rate and recommend it to your friends so that we can continue to produce them. Please click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos like this one. Don't forget to watch our other videos as well. Thank you for viewing.